Pack. All right, you guys are finding some gnolls in the desert. You don't know they're gnolls, though. Dog uh, people. The hyena bites you, chief. What? 18. It says, I see that 18, I'll and I you. can't even hurt you. That's okay, you're a puppy. Yeah. It doesn't know what it's doing. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't. You should, you should tame this. Rodrigo, the one it's that you've been fighting for a while is pissed. Good. And he tries to swing at you. I'm going to try and... Um, Go for it. Try to repose. Like yep. I like the idea. That from the Riverlands. <laughs> Whoa! Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! Um... Yeah, I'll spend the extra point of panache to make that a critical. Yeah, yeah. Um, I rolled a 20, so sure. that's a lot. And I'm going to spend two points of panache instead of just using it to make it now an attack. Sure. All your damage. Well, I have to roll to confirm in theory. Yes, you do. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. Did you get a one? Yeah, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. To you, confirm. Do, uh, you do not confirm. Okay. Fucking hell. That would be the way it happens. Yeah. Uh, that's still good, though. Um, 23. Uh, you swing at it. He swings at you. You parry his attack. Sink it deep into your, your blade, deep into his throat, and the creature dies. Rip. But. I, um, I like the idea that we've never seen hyenas from the Riverlands. So we come over the hill and we're like, Ah, oh, gnolls! Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes to the and she's like, Hyenas! Dog Dogs. <laughs> Um, the two that have, uh, that jumped out of the way, uh, the one that's still with you strikes at you. Okay. I'm just gonna let that pass. <laughs> he misses. But the two that have, uh, jumped out of the way of the lightning, um, have now have some distance, and they pull out their whips. And one's gonna whip at you. Oh, 18. 18? 18. 18. Let me just see if they got any tricks up their sleeves. I do not believe, yeah, I don't think Swashbuckler works if you have range. I think that denies it. Uh, he hits you. Oh, how much? Justin just looks at the damage and gets sad. Yeah. Oh. Bye, Chief. I'm good right now. N A N. Let's try that again. <laughs> what does that even mean? Non bread. Oh, you take one damage from the whip. <laughs> Ow! You take three. You take three. Sorry, three. 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 What does that mean? I put in a number that they didn't like, even though there was no numbers there. It was just like, nah, man, that's not in the thing. Nah, nope. man. Uh, and the other one, um, he whips at you, Rodrigo. Do you dare dream the dream of... What's your AC? Uh, 22. You're fine. <laughs> just hits my breastplate. <laughs> no more shirt left to take the damage. Rodrigo, there's one Noel still next to you, the one that got struck by lightning. Okay. I guess I'm gonna stab him. Go for it. Power attack. Uh, potential critical. Yeah. Go for it. Try to confirm. Confirm it. Fuck it You're killing it tonight, sir. Uh, 14. Does not confirm, but you still hit. Okay. Uh, 18 damage. I'm rolling all the low numbers. Those are some That's nice a big, uh, good stab into the, the null. It's kind of letting out some guttural, heavy breathing sounds as there's not much left in them. I'll go for my second attack then. Potential critical. Okay. Just okay. Confirm. Don't, don't, don't. Yes! yes! Double critical. Okay, I don't think that actually works. No, no, no it's just the first one. No, yeah. it's double! Double crit. Um, double! 23. 23, you hit. So that's 40 damage. In a move that's so quick, you follow up your first strike and you sink your blade even deeper in this time, and the creature goes lifeless at the end of it. Seeing this, the two gnolls that have gone distance begin to retreat deep uh, into the desert. No. <laughs> oosh, uh, oosh. Chief, it's your turn. Um, Does he still have a puppy? Yeah, still yeah a there's puppy. still a puppy nearby. Is he close enough for me to... Huh. Yeah, you can still... Yeah, you can try to stri strike out. I can just... I don't understand. <laughs> if you, stand if you can break 16 AC, mortal. <laughs> I Yeah, I can't not hit it. <laughs> Roll one. That's a two. <laughs> so you hit? I hit. Um, I nuke it to death. I math and puts it in the microwave for like two minutes too long. 
Uh, Give me the number. Yeah, 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 I'm fun. trying to here. I like that. I believe in um, Eight, nine, that's 17, plus five, that's 23, yeah. two? 22. The poor creature dies. Blech. Blech. I'll finally stand Panda, up. Panda, you're up. The two other dog people are fleeing into the <laughs> desert. <laughs> Why? What is their formation? Um, it makes sense. I stab. They're walk, kind of walk. like, they're kind of like darting apart. That's a uh, magic mystery. Too bad we didn't have a boomerang. Scoot them out. We're either gonna yes, hurt like them to see, or scoot them. That's a good idea. I'd like to see the fucking greatsword fighter use a dex throwing weapon. Too bad my sword can't work like a boomerang. Then you've never tried it. <laughs> so I get I'm gonna go walk. <laughs> Just throw it into the river. Or it kills me. <laughs> Only three, he rolled oh, a I guess I'll wait for another half of them show up. Yeah, I'll just roll. Sure. Rodrigo must have some Are you coming all at one or two at each? Uh, two at each. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to kill them. Rodrigo. Oh, I just need one. Rodrigo. So, six and five? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, the magic missiles fire out of your invisible fingers and they sink into two knolls. Do I wait to like, become visible now? Yes. Yeah. I'm not aware of it. Rodrigo, the gnolls are fleeing into the desert. How far away are they at this point? Uh, they've got one round, so they're about 30 feet away from you. Actually, well, they're about 45. I'm going to charge one of them. Sure. Because that's within range. Was it I am nice? uninterested in having whatever happy gnoll community lives out here come and find us later. Oh, we got people to say. That's fine. Yeah. Kill the gnolls. And possibly tax. Yeah, I'll leave that up to you guys because I'm a bad person. Yeah. I'm going to chase down one of the gnolls. Sure. So charge. Thank goodness because I'm rolling like a bologna sausage. Uh, <laughs> you don't know what those are. No, you don't. It's just a hot dog. <laughs> really? yeah, there's a hot dogs though. Not sausages or anything. Uh, 21. Uh, you hit. Ah! So that is 17 damage. Cool. The creature is still fleeing for its life. Not really. It's just like, ah, it starts trying to run even faster. I guess I'm just going to keep stabbing it in the back. This is a weird game. I like it. Does the charge have any negative, or can you just run something? I'm at minus so 2 AC. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I am. Do you have a second attack, or is that. Riding uh, an uh, invisible it charges horse. a full round. <laughs> Sorry, action. cool. I'm riding an invisible horse right now. Yep. Um, Chief. Yes. The two gnolls are running. Rodrigo caught up with one of them. You see Panya on an invisible horse. No, I'm not going to throw my great sword like a boomerang. A bird around. catches it and flies away. <laughs> <laughs> is it just like a thunderbird? Just no, no, the no, final no, boss no. is just this hawk with bird. a <laughs> yeah. great I have learned your methods, Chuman. You would think you have destroyed Hakatep, but you have not fought his greatest servant. A bird! bird. Yeah, hawk slaughter. <laughs> Um, okay. So I think Hakatep's a bit washed up. Do they, uh, they're still 45 feet away? Uh, yes. So, okay, I'll charge one, too. Sure. So I'll be at 60 AC. Are you charging the other one, I assume? Yeah. Um, Thank goodness you also add two to your attack. Yeah, I know. Um, so that's... Uh, 20... 19. 19? Yeah. You do not hit. What?! <laughs> 20 to hit. Potentially. 20 to hit. Panya, you're up. Um, I'm going to ride my invisible horse over sure. to the chain of people. Sure. And... As you get closer, you see yeah, about, about a dozen human people chained up in rags. Uh, and they look like they haven't eaten in a while. Or, you know, they... Oh, fuck me. You also find a few... There's also a few caravans that um, the people are actually pulling through the desert that are on the back where the dogs came from. So, so there's, a, there's a caravan there. Yeah. I'm assuming there's some sort of food in there from the dog people. You don't want to eat dog people food. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Would well, you eat friskies? Worst uh, of so dogs how many? There's a people. dozen, you said? Yeah, about a dozen. And it's like a two-day trek for these people on foot. Oh, yeah. To get to the... No, it's a one day if they don't fully explore. <laughs> <laughs> We've been free to fully explore. Oh, they're like fall out. The why don't you, um, yeah. you, why don't you, um... What's that big city in the distance? Go left. Do a knowledge <laughs> local check for me, please. 
Does my face work yet? Probably not, hey? Have you slept in it? Yeah, yeah, your face works. Okay, so what is that? An additional... My face works. Four? I forget. Yeah, I think it's four. So, 18, 20. Um, you know that just southwest of here, um, along the river, it's only about a, probably a eight or six hour walk gets you to um, a little city known as a Beck that you could possibly, that is closer oh. than... We missed our ambush. We forgot to go to our ambush from the people from the back. Oh no! They're gonna be so upset. We're gonna. We could go schedule. ambush them. Probably. Uh, seeing as how we're so close. Yeah. We just. Anyways. Um. One of the 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 gnolls realizing that you're chasing them. Uh, swing back at you guys now, as That's opposed to running. Rodrigo, one reasonable. goes for you first. Of course. Mine doesn't realize I'm chasing him yet. <laughs> he heard you. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were running and screaming. We're in. We're I know. Out of uh, he me. misses I, you. I know. Okay. Actually, what's your AC? Yours is 16. He hits you. There's a volume correlation to how high your sword is. You take 13 damage as he swings back with his scimitar. Mother! Slashes right here. Mm -hmm. Add the, another one to the collection. You should have stopped telling him about why you were screaming long enough <laughs> to not get stabbed. <laughs> um, red do 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 That's you. red do 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 red do do red do 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 You're up. red do 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 red do do New name. <laughs> It's our pet name. Uh, it's our pet power attack. Go for it. Going for two swings on the uh, beastie. Uh, that's a 16 to hit. Does not hit. Bummer. Wish I could stop power attacking. I can't. Uh, that one really misses. Okay. Yeah. Chief, you're up. Uh, let's mutilate this mother lover. Go sh give it a shot. I'm gonna. That's good. That's 31. You hit. That's more than 31, you keep forgetting your rager. That's more than 31. That's not hit. <laughs> you just nerfed my damage. <laughs> What's your damage? Um, that is... Da, 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 so tough. If I do that, that's 10, that's 12. Cool, thank you. Your sword swings back into the knoll and it lets out... Now it's kind of like a bloodthirsty. These things are realizing they're fighting to the death. And... You're dumb, because you're dead this turn. You say to it? Yeah. Not understanding the concept of turns? Yeah. I do say to it. You're dead now. you dead now. Um, that is a 22. You hit. That's a 24. I'm raging. There you go. Uh, Ooh. That's nice. That's nice. This. Ooh. Uh, 10, 18, 19 damage. As you called it, the knoll falls to bits as your blade slices through it. <laughs> Panya, you're up. The, the, the people are all looking at you, begging to be let free. This is when Penny reveals her true side and burns them. Flaming sphere. <laughs> what uh, people? <laughs> I'm there's nobody here. Um, Look, can I, can I find, like, are they locked? Yeah, they're locked up. Can I search for a... Um, yeah. If you, yeah, you look at the bodies of the, wolf, oh, the dog people. Okay. Yeah. No, dude, you can just you can just do a search and you find a key. You find some other things too, but they don't matter right now. Cool. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, C page fifty eight. <laughs> the Nolan yeah, you're can. fighting right now. The last one. Okay, it just comes up. Key. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna let them go and point them in the right direction. And, and they kind of just like we can't, we can't just go through the desert. Well, don't. Well, that's suicide. It's a myth. The desert's hospitable. Uh, the knoll that's with you swings at you, my good friend Rodrigo. Okay, my AC is back to 22. He hits you. Ah, uh, should have stopped him. You take 8 damage as uh, just another rip goes across the gut of your, your nice silk shirt. Rodrigo, you're up. Avenge your shirt. I'm going to scream at the creature. Oh, I can do that! I'm going to intimidate it as I attack it. Go for it. I will tell it that it will become my new shirt. You should like rip a piece off of your shirt and then just like strangle him with it. <laughs> ah, Dog myself. person wins the strangle and kills you. <laughs> he was the strangle master. Uh, 16. Does not hit. I'm great. So the intimidate fails. 
Okay, if this one rolls a one, I'm going to bite your. That's fine. Finish your sentence. That's two ones. <laughs> no, that is two ones. So, uh, that is a twenty-one. You hit. Yes. Make him your shirt. Make my shirt. Eighteen. He's not intimidated. Nope. But he is dead. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that fits. Yeah. You guys are out of combat. Okay. Does raging go away? No. no. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm locking their key. Ah! More kill! Um, so I think we're probably um, escorting So yeah, people. you guys come back and you see there's a, bu- uh, a bunch of... Yeah, they're just like, they're talking with Fanny like, we can't just go back alone, we'll die in the desert. We haven't eaten in days. That's funny, because this caravan is full of food. Even though the caravan is just rotting corpses. Oh my god. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to push the corpses out of the caravan. Oh my god. And put the people... In the caravan. What's pulling the caravan? The people were. Rip. Can we, like, hook our horses up to the caravan? Camels. Not mine. That's fine. Horses. Yeah. I'm going to loot the caravan and the gnolls. Do it. While they're bothering to save them. So such horrible people. So you find, um... On one of them, you find a bottle of sand. Love it. What a fucking idiot! <laughs> it's everywhere! <laughs> Why would you put it in a bottle? Just a bottle of sand. Uh, and you also find, Ooh. on each of them, they have a Masterwork chain shirt. Yeah. A Masterwork scimitar. Yeah. And a Masterwork scorpion whip. No. And also 44 GP <laughs> on each of them. A masterwork one, Mike. A masterwork. Mike's so excited. <laughs> and Kev, who's with you but not doing anything, he goes, I might want those. And I'm like, I can't hear you, invisible man. And he says, why doesn't anyone look at me anymore? <laughs> I've been killing gnolls all day. Yeah, you actually, like, both Neath and Ankev are killing the other things that I'm not rolling into the encounter. Yeah. You're being followed by ghosts and spirits, and they're dealing with them. Love them. Love them. In spirit. It's just so Castlevania back there. And nothing in the caravan? Um, in the caravan, it's literally like they're just carrying around bodies. <laughs> That's dog food, all right. Well, um, let's ration out some rations. We can't just leave them. And take them to Ubek, I guess. Let's do it. Let's we going to hook our horses up and ride side by side and pull this caravan? We sure are. Love it. In a sight that's weird to everyone else, a donkey <laughs> and a camel are tied, tied oh, side by horse. side. It's more like a donkey to survive here. All right. Uh, are tied side by side onto a caravan that was once filled with dead bodies that are now just piled up next to the river. Close to possibly leaking contaminants into it. Who cares, right? Who put them by the river? Where else we were by the river. I thought we were going to just take them. So the dead just... bodies? No, it's fine. They can be by the river. That's, That's fine. That's where the alligators are, right? Alligators? Alligators They're... eat dead bodies. Most, most... Everything eats dead bodies. Yeah, vultures. Go for it, Rodrigo. <laughs> Not hungry. <laughs> I ate one of my that. rations. Yeah. yeah. How many, how many, you say there's a dozen of them? Yeah. How many rations would that take if I was just, like, giving them meager, not... Like Dude, half, if we're, like, four hours out of town. Half rations. That's it? Just four hours? Yeah, about four hours. Oh, shit, fuck. Ubek, well, land of the Knoll people. They're just like, thanks for returning our slaves. <laughs> um, uh, where are you guys going to put the slaves? Are you going to make them walk outside? Oh, they can, can go, they in, go the If they want to go in the corpse van, they can. A lot of them are very hesitant, too. And actually, a lot of them are also, when you guys are taking the bodies out, are kind of weeping because it's possible it had some family. family. Yeah. What well, should uh, be. No, you two go on ahead. I'll bury the bodies. Thanks. <laughs> then just. <laughs> <laughs> Torch them literally into the river. 
burial at Thanks, sea. Thanks, alligators. Yeah. Uh, a few go into the caravan. A lot of them puke while they're in there. Yep. Uh, a lot of them stay outside and walk. And a lot of the ones that went in also get outside and walk as you guys make your way towards the back. Just unhook this. There's nobody in there. Yeah, there's no one in it. No, oh, there's no one in it. We're just gonna yeah, hook it. Fuck just that. And then you're like, what did you do with the caravan? <laughs> That was worth money. Uh, Rodrigo, what do you do with the bodies? I will get out my little shovel I bought, and I will legitimately set in the them desert on sun. Fire. Set them on fire. Oh, man. Who is this <clears throat> neutral evil guy? Knowledge, Just... religion. Um, that's an 18. How would they want to be buried? You just could just assume that... Most of these guys are probably for Asmans, so you could do just the process that you would bury your dead within the Riverlands. Okay, well, do I get to bury or can I like pyre them? Pyre them. Pyre them seems exciting but not religious. <laughs> um, oh, I'm gonna pyre the gnolls, but I'm gonna bury the people. Sure. I sure. get some excitement out of this. Sure. Pyre. You guys are making your way back to Quebec? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, as you are burning the bodies yeah. and burying the gnolls, the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and burying the humans, There's you hear a voice there. behind you, and it says, "Quite a noble thing you are doing." Yes, it, it appears to be rubbing off on me. Schwing. Hello. <laughs> Schwing. I don't know if that's all right. That's a, it's for, a rapier. For like what I could see from <laughs> Worry not, not I, I have no desire to hurt you and your blade would do nothing anyway. I'll put it away. You turn around? Yep. Uh, you see a, like, a very large bear-like creature that's walking on all fours with a long beard and a human face. What the fuck is that? I'm gonna look up at the sun. I'm going to look back at it and go, yes, I see that now. My name is Rodrigo. I come from the town of Amon in uh, the Riverlands. May I have your name? It's Rodrigo. Uh, My name is Shedu. Shedu. Actually, just kidding, it's a Luti. <laughs> <laughs> Shedu. Gotcha. A Luti. <laughs> the desert's greatest prankster. <laughs> My name is Aluti. <laughs> Amazing. Well, Aluti, how uh, may I help you today? You look like you are tired. Yes. Would you like a place to rest? Absolutely. Come with me. Bring your camel and your gear. I'll help you finish burying these bodies. And then just with this claw, you this paw, you just shh. An entire, like, just a place to put, like, a whole body. Very gently yeah. and reverently, I'm going to lay the people to rest, also making sure they actually end up in a burrow before I realize maybe I've actually gone heat mad and I dug a whole line and now I think the bear man is helping me. <laughs> but that's okay, it's only the desert and all my friends are gone. Yeah. <laughs> Um, this is fine. The journey to Abek is quite simple. You just follow the river. Uh, and when you guys make it, you see some, some guards outside the city. Um, you see one of them, when you see them approaching, runs back in. And then, as you guys get closer, some guards come out and meet you halfway. Mm -hmm. And kind of just like, immediately are like, oh my god, what happened? Uh... Uh, we just... We a lot of the other guards go and start helping the slavers who uh, the slaves, not the slavers. <laughs> Plot twist! <laughs> Boom! Rodrigo's dead. <laughs> Everybody was their king. I've been eaten. <laughs> um, isn't it gonna be the biggest plot twist when his name's actually Shedu though? <laughs> um, we were we're just uh, making our way through the parched dunes, and we happened about these people tracked by gnolls. Oh my god. And they, yeah, they just kind of rush yeah. them all in and say, thank you, thank you so much. Is, is there anything we can offer you to, for bringing these people back? Uh, any survival gear you could spare would be appreciated. 
He looks into his pockets, he's just, or his bag, he's just like, there's nothing here, it's just fucking okay. dagger like, and cloth. Pure light or something? Uh, because of the and the daggers thing. ruined the cloth. Yeah, he's just, <laughs> I just got figs in here. Uh, keep We're your good. figs. We're, we'll be back to okay. visit. Yeah. And then uh, they just, they're more worried about helping the people. Yeah, just the fine. City. Thank yeah. you. And we're just going to trot off into the sunset on our donkey and camel horse. Horse. So you and Aluti have finished burying the remaining people. I've actually done it quite properly, too. Yes, and Aluti enjoys that. Hurry up. And he says, would you like to come with me? Yes. Who are those people you were with? And you guys are just, he's just walking and leading you somewhere. Aluti, uh, are you uh, able to imbibe spirits, uh, liquors? I can. Uh, perhaps uh, we can share a drink. And I'll, I'll tell you the truth. Um, drink in the, desert. the two of those are my companions. And uh, if you respect my care for the uh, deceased, then they are even more people who will be to your liking. I am beginning to suspect that they are the real heroes. <laughs> Shall I tell them where to meet you? I, that would be uh, excellent. Yes. He, he gives you directions of where to keep walking. You'll find a small little cave that's hidden if you're even looking for it, but he, he trusts that you'll be able to find it. It's just a bit north of here. Mm -hmm. And then he just, two large wings come out of his back, and he flies away. I'm gonna look up at the sun. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Better be treasure. As you guys are making your journey back, you see a large creature coming across the horizon towards you. Uh oh. It's large. Yeah. Covered in fur and has large wings. Larger, larger. <laughs> larger, larger. Ah. What the hell is that? Let's uh. Let's just be prepared here, shall we? Yeah. Just kind of... Uh, it kinda, you can't hide anywhere in the desert. Yeah. About 10 feet away from you, it lands in front of you. Yeah. As you get closer, you see it's a large bear-like creature uh, with the face of a human male with a large beard. Yeah. And he looks at you and he says, Are you with Rodrigo? Oh god, he's got Rodrigo. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. 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 Put your blade away. I have no means to harm you, and it would do no such thing to me. He's got a point. <laughs> I hear you helped with the slaves. Come. I will give you respite of the desert night. Oh, that sounds lovely. That does sound lovely. Continue north to the river. I shall meet you there. Okay. And as he takes flight. Um, and then, uh, yeah, when you get to the river, if you want to talk with him again, he'll lead you to the directions that he gave to Rodrigo. Yeah. Rodrigo, you walk. Will you give me a perception check, please? Oh, God. I'm lost. Thank Rodrigo. the flying man bear pig <laughs> that it will find me again. Fifteen. You find it. Oh, thank through guidance that you don't even know, you, you're not even looking for it, and you come across it. And you just find a small little sheltered cave that is literally bare, uh, dug out of a sand dune, but it's stone inside. Sounds nice. I'll enter. It's cool from the, the desert air. Okay. Rodrigo is either now he knows he's dying in the desert somewhere behind, beside a whole bunch of corpse piles, or uh, this is real. And either one might as well enter the cave. Um, after some time of walking, are you guys going to follow the the large beast's instructions? Yes. Uh, do a perception check, both of you. Dang it. Dang! 17. 18. You guys both find it as well. We did it. Uh, a, a, like a, a cave that shouldn't exist in a dune in the desert. Hmm. Well, now we're corralled into a cave so it can come and kill us later. No, this is a good perception check. Uh, 19. You hear voices, familiar voices, coming from the outside of the cave. 
Mm. As you get inside it also actually it's quite shallow. It's just enough for you to like rest in. It's it's good because he's not like a full torso. Remember the last time we met up with a not full torso to human no, faced something? They, no, they had a full torso last time. They were like, woo and this guy's just a head. He's Is the it good you one. Two outside. Oh, of the cave. sweet Jesus, that's terrifying. <laughs> did you? Did the beast man guide you here? Yes, uh, yes he and I are going to be uh, drinking and talking later this evening. Drinking and talking with that thing. Why not? It's got a face. Um, yeah, good, so great point. So does Chief, point. but you know. I drink and talk with Chief all the time. I know, and look at where that gets you. I'm right here, guys. You hear a heavy sound of something hitting the ground above you. Uh -oh. And just over the top of the dune, you see a large shadow of the creature above you. It looks and says, Why don't you all go in? I shall make some tea. And Rodrigo is just 110% into this. Yes. And we'll call it there for tonight. Oh, Jesus. Ah.